Hello, hello. Welcome. Thanks for watching. It's like a million degrees outside, but I thought I'd go ahead and do my video out here. I'm not sure. Maybe I was temporarily insane. Um, I'm going to use the We Are Memory Keepers journal guide to put this together, and I really love it. So this is the actual template guide, and this is the little pouch. I really need to decorate this pouch. Anyway, here's the pouch with the goodies in it. So... In the decision process, you decide what pages are going to go first, second, third, etc. And as you're doing that, you think of, I'll just show you that much, like what's going to look nice next to each other when, because you're not seeing them as their whole original pages. Most of them you're seeing in halves paired with something else. So I give it, sorry about the thumpy thumps, I give it a good solid thump to get it situated together. This guide has two little um, bolts basically you take off. It has this plastic guide which has a little bit of a concavity to it, a concaveness to it, so that you can use that So you get your journal all nice and lined up. And the, oh, I don't, I didn't say it. There, This is a V, this part here. So you're going to put, once you put this and then the journal, and then the piece of plastic will complete everything. So there's, and there's an edge at the bottom and the top. So you put that in there. If you have a journal that ends up being too thick, you can just do it in two segments because all you're doing on this thing is making the holes. You're going to use it, take it in your hands and sew it. This is just to put the holes. So you're going to line your journal up, put in the two pegs and tighten them. Now Next time I do a journal, I'm not going to use such thick paper for the whole thing. Like I say, I'm new at this, so my mistake was I don't need to use all cardstock. Um, but I did. I did get it actually all in here, which I'm actually pretty impressed. It was a little hard, but you, both of these are turned and they're put in. Now everything is in here solidly. And you make holes. So in the package along with comes this guide which will poke through the pocket at any given chance it gets and some twine and that tool which i think is for the other side that i have never dared to try just so you know the instructions hang on sorry Printed instructions that come with this thing are like, ha ha, he, he expect me to actually be able to follow that. So, oh, and there's a needle. And by the way, I store my needle by stuffing it through some of the twine. And you don't, this is just what comes with it. You can use any kind of twiny substance you want that's good and strong. And so you're going to use this guide to poke. And you'll want to come in to the middle, the hole in the middle of the V. These others work with that other side of the template. Now, unscrew this, and it's like, <gasps> sort of like letting out the girdle. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of paper. Now, the sewing part, which is what used to keep me away from journals, because I had 
not really a good way. I mean, I suppose I could have figured out some other way, but I'm not the most mechanical girl in the world. I'm going to thread my needle. So I finished with the journal. I'll just show you really quick. I'm going to show it against a white this other journal that I also made. I did three holes. So it's easier to see on the white. Went down through this hole, up through the top, all the way across to the bottom and through. And then you come back up and make sure that your um, needle comes up on the other side of the thread. Make sure to pull it real tight, tie it off, and snip it. You could do inside or outside. Sometimes people do it outside and put a charm. Now this is a plain journal that I made for basically this person's husband because I know he doesn't want something like this. 